What's up, guys? Welcome to your App Store update for Wednesday, May 8th. I'm Justin. And they let me out of the cage. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Destin. Destin D Legs Legary is yep. making his return to the App Store update after um, a little bit away. Well, you were away seeing some game demos, and uh, we wanted to get Marty Beardface on the show. Mm -hmm. um, Destin, yeah, that's what I, that's his that's his last name. That's his uh, Christian name. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't realize that. We got a pretty small day today, but there's some interesting games that I wanted to highlight. Um, the first is called Bunnyland. Oh, yeah. Super Bunny Land. Okay. Um, high games. Yeah, hey games, high games. It's a little bit, it's an auto runner, so your character moves on his own and you tap the screen to jump. Uh, okay, um, not sure on the, the, tech, the music yet, the retro music, but we'll see. But what separates it from, you know, other sort of auto runners like, uh, you know, Rayman or whatever other ones you want to see. The girl in the bunny suit. The girl in the bunny suit. It's, uh, it's, a, little oh, bit more like, it's a little bit more like Mario. So you tap oh. this side of the screen to stop and then this side of the screen to jump. And obviously that's like the Mario box layout. Yeah. Those are the Goombas. <laughs> Way to go, Justin. It. Wow. Did they just steal level design from every Mario level? Um, I mean, it doesn't. Steal it, it or, is, I, or is this an homage? I consider it more of an homage. Okay. Yeah. Um, the I'm level. Getting, I'm getting kind of tired of the homage to <laughs> to the Mario level. Yep, for sure. Yeah. Like you just saw with that flag, this game has some pretty cool like online integration when you can see like how you're beating other people's scores. It's got some persistent stuff. Like once you run certain distances, mm -hmm. like reach milestones, you earn little presents that let you uh, do different things. This is the slowest damn bunny I've ever seen in my life, Justin. Are rabbits fast? Yes. Oh. That's like what they're known for, that's, man. That's the Tortoise thing. and the hare. Yeah. I don't know. I, this game, I, it's sort of the same refrain I always say on the App Store update. Like, it's nothing special, but it's like, it's mechanic. Does he get like a speed boost or something? Yeah, he speeds up. You can get oh, power ups okay. and stuff. I am not doing very well either. I love how I had these really long runs and I was testing it out, and then yeah. we record and I do terrible. You're just awful. Um. That's Super Bunny Land. That's kind of cute. Is it free? Uh, it's one ninety. Er, no, nope. it's, it's ninety nine cents. Too much money. Ninety nine cents. Um, Doodle God was one of the sort of original App Store hits on the iPhone, and now they have an iPad native version. Okay. Why does God have a beard? What do you mean? God he's always a, has a beard. God's a being. He's not a male. But I mean, he's always depicted as like a wizard, like an True. old bearded man. Yeah. Beginning. Anyway, Doodle God, this isn't new Doodle God. This is the same Doodle God, but now there's an iPad native version. So mm -hmm. if you want to play it in, you know, fancy sort of high-res graphics. Oh, you can tap buttons. This looks fun. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even, you know, again. This, this is the game? Yeah, this is the game. What are you doing? So you're trying to mix elements. So it's like electricity and, or. Uh, <laughs> Make vodka? Yeah, I made vodka. Electricity and water mix vodka. Well, no, I guess I tapped something else other oh, than okay. electricity. Oh, <laughs> okay. Electricity, and then you're trying to figure out what elements combine to make what? Electricity and boiler? I don't know. That's I don't know. I, I was never that crazy about Doodle God. Some that looks stupid. It is a little bit stupid. How Some, much is it? It's two ninety nine. That That's more than the last game I didn't like. Um, Here's the deal. God, I uh, would pay for Knights of Pen and Paper. I would not pay for either of these. Sure, that's totally yeah. legitimate. I, I never thought... Knights of Pen and Paper was free when I got it. Knights of Pen and Paper was yeah. great. Um... Yeah. I never really got that into Doodle God. I didn't ever think it was anything special. But uh, if you have an iPad, you know, and you sort of avoid... And you like being bored. <laughs> like more bored than you were before you took out the iPad. Get Doodle God. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, we do have some price drops today, Destin. I mean. <laughs> um, Sorry, developers that, like, sacrifice time with their families to, to make the game. Tap Foo. Uh, yeah, let's play it sideways. Oh, is it sideways? Okay, I'll rotate it in post. So I think... <laughs> We've had this sort of happen a lot, and I think it's because when we're playing an iPhone version, it gets confused. So this oh, is okay. this is an iPhone game that we're blowing up to play on an iPad. Okay. Um, this is sort of like a. <laughs> you should just leave it like this. Everybody watch yeah. it sideways. No, I'm not gonna. It's already not gonna be sideways by the time <laughs> people see this. This is like a brawler, like a Double Dragon style brawler with, uh, you know, sort of touch controls. So you can swipe and tap to, you it know, looks like exactly attack enemies. Like Double Dragon. Yeah, I mean a little bit. <laughs> And so, um, oh you, man, it looks rough. I'm sort of playing this endless mode right now. You know, yeah. you can swipe up to jump, you can swipe down to sort of do a dodge. You can. Uh, okay, I've been pretty mean this morning, so let's talk about some positives about this game. Uh, the animation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whoever did the artwork did a very excellent job. Yeah, they clearly <laughs> put a lot of time into everything. I love how you're learning, Dustin. You're uh, like so. You're getting nicer all of a sudden. <laughs> what else? That's it. I got nothing. The rest of the game, the gameplay looks terrible. So the sorry gameplay's not terrible. Sorry, bro. It looks bad. Like it. 
I mean, if you say it's good, I'll take your word for it. I'm not it. saying it's good. I'm just saying it's better than – if I'm going to play a brawler on my phone, I would yeah. rather have the implement, like, tap and swipe controls rather than just have, like, a virtual D-pad and virtual buttons. Like, I'd like to see them Come try on. to use a touch con you know, a touch screen. In, I'm like, like Simon way. Cowell. Is this too old of a reference? I'm like Simon Cowell. Oh, yeah, you are kind of like the Simon Cowell <laughs> of the App Store update. That's and you're funny. like the girl who was really nice to everybody. Yeah. Tina Turner, we'll say. <laughs> Is that who that was? <laughs> uh, no, it was not. Um, Blade Slinger is also free. Blade Singer? Slinger. Oh. With an L. Blade an L Singer in. would be a lot cooler, man. Um, I reviewed Blade this. Blade Singer. <laughs> Blade you Slinger. Can, you can defeat the evil of the night with uh, music. Some people loved Blade Slinger. <laughs> Blade Slinger won a bunch of awards. Oh, really? You know, a lot of people loved it. I was not as wild about it. I gave it a six point something, I think. Apparently, which isn't you, apparently you touch the enemies gently and massage them to defeat yeah, them. Just ta just <laughs> massage their shoulder. Um, oh, I feel better now. I'll put this pitchfork down. I do want to say some people think that a game that gets a six is just like you know terrible dog doo doo. But a six yeah. means it's okay. This is an okay I, game. I hate the scales. And then he's gonna. We're still going through some sort of tutorial stuff because the game didn't have he's my save. He's really far away, man. Wipe. Stop running away from me. Blade Singer! You gotta sing to win the day, yeah! Blade Singer! I'm playing a different game, Justin, sorry. I'm playing it on my iPhone. I wanna finish this combat and I can show you. Oh, I already didn't listen to what the tutorial was saying. <laughs> I think it said combo your attack or something. Oh, yeah, you're right. It did. So the reason I wasn't as wild about this game as some folks is it has some camera issues. You can't always see, like, your enemies and what it is you're trying to do. But it's really I can see why people would like it. Yeah. I want to show you what I think is really clever. I can also see why you did not. What was that? I better get into town and find my brother Morgan. He'll have answers to all this. I better get in town and find my brother Morgan. That was pretty good. He'll have answers to all this. So here's what I like about this game is it's possible to play the entire thing with one finger, and it actually works pretty well. Or one hand, not one finger. I like so, games that I only need one finger to play. So check it. So you swipe with one finger to move around, you okay. know, like he's moving like this. But then here's what I think is smart is with two fingers, that becomes like a mouse look. Uh, I said one finger, Justin. Yeah, I meant one hand. But isn't that kind of clever? So it's like move with one finger, and then if you do a second finger, then you can look around freely. That's great. And it's like that's the way <laughs> – you're not impressed? <laughs> no. I just think like most games would have like a virtual D-pad stuck on the left side of the screen and virtual button stuck on the right, and you would oh, have to hold okay. your iPad in like so a cumbersome way to play the same game. You're saying they're smart because they integrate the yeah. controls but as opposed to like making you touch on screen. And it actually like totally works. You know, and in combat it works the same way. Like tapping an enemy shoots your gun, swiping an enemy, uh, you know, swings your sword. And Do you then ever have to look up and shoot people in combat? Because that's the point where I'd be like, all right, that's not good. How much is Blade Sing Slinger? It is a price drop. It's normally two ninety nine. It's free. Oh, okay. Well, if you want to see if you like it, for sure, get it. Yeah, I mean, again, I don't want to like praise it. Does it does this cool thing where you use two fingers to use a <laughs> camera and one finger to move. I think it's clever. You're you're teasing me, <laughs> but I think that's a clever control scheme. Like, it's not often you get a full sort of complex three D action adventure that can be that you gave a six. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but not for the controls. Mainly okay. mainly for the camera and for, you know, some other janky issues. Okay. Like okay. I'm not gonna say it's a great game, but I was I'm impressed with its controls. I'm scheme. just beating you up a little bit about that. You're one. beating me up a Sorry. tremendous amount. Sorry, about Justin, it. I'll stop. Uh don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean none of today's games are absolutely incredible, but you know, we do the abstract update every day and I wanna make sure that people sort of are kept abreast of what's happening. And in it the keeps App Store. you up to date. And it keeps me up to date. Um it forces me to play these games. Keeps me honest yeah. as yeah. an editor. Um, Dustin, thank you for joining me. Of course. Everyone at home, thank you for tuning in. Remember that for all the mobile game hotness, you can keep it locked to IGN.